Our God is good and all the time. Amen. We welcome you to the prayer with the anointing water in USA, Washington, where Prophet T.B. Joshua has sent the anointing water to be prayed for, for the people here in the United States. We know that it's not the water that heals and saves, but Jesus Christ for the anointing is done in His name. And we ask you right now that you will open up your heart to the Holy Spirit, open your heart to Jesus as He is going to administer this grace to you through the medium of the anointing water. And today we're going to believe that the end of your problems has come in Jesus' name. As you are taking a stand here, that the end to that trouble has come today in Jesus' name. And so it's not amount of the anointing water that gets prayed or exact words that get prayed over you, but it's the touch of this anointing water and the touch of Jesus that will touch you in Jesus' name. So just say this out loud after me. Say, Lord Jesus, open my heart to your word. Lord Jesus, open my heart to your spirit. Lord Jesus, open my heart to your faith. Amen. Get ready to receive in Jesus' name. that there are many people here today who have come to receive prayer with the anointing water and there are people here today who have come from all over the United States to be a partaker of what God is doing in this place we know that what we will see this morning is God's divine healing deliverance and breakthrough happening in this place right now the evangelists are praying for each individual person as the Holy Spirit begins to address every single need that is brought forth, whether it's sickness, whether it's limitation, setback, whatever the situation may be, we know that the Holy Spirit is addressing each case. We also know that God's Word is the final authority, settling all matters. So no matter what the problem is, we know that Jesus Christ is the solution. He truly is the answer to all fundamental issues of life. We can come to him and know that he has the solution waiting for us, that he is ready today to meet us at the point of our need. So I wanna encourage every single person who is in this place today, and those of you who are watching online, you can boldly and confidently declare today that your case is settled in Jesus' mighty name. So whatever you have come with, know that Jesus Christ is already battling has already won the battle for you that you can come today and receive of that victory because of the finished works of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary as the evangelists continue to administer the anointing water what you are seeing right now is the name of Jesus working through the power of the Holy Spirit to break every single chain, to break every yoke and every bondage. And as you can see, this woman right now, as she's being prayed for, is not at ease with herself. As the Holy Spirit begins to address her case, she's come here today with stomach ulcers, with infirmity and with pain. But we know that Jesus Christ is able to defeat this sickness. now you're seeing a battle between light and darkness a combat between good and evil today what you are witnessing now is the resurrection power of Jesus Christ working in the spirit through his word by his spirit today in Jesus mighty name bringing about change bringing about victory in the lives of these people who have come here today for many this is their very last bus stop if God will not touch them today then there is no other solution but we know that by the grace of God today is the day of their freedom their salvation in Jesus mighty name
now continue to watch your screen as the real, authentic, and forceful power of God is being ministered today through the medium of the anointing water. And remember that God cannot be limited by time or space, for truly distance is not a barrier to the move of God. So if you're watching online today, you can touch your screen and receive a touch from God because believing is our connection to Christ Jesus. So wherever you are today, you too can be a partaker of this divine healing, deliverance, and breakthrough that is happening right here, right now in this church, you can be a partaker of the anointing of God by simply connecting yourself in faith. We know that the word of God says in Hebrews chapter 11 that without faith, it is impossible to please God. And those who come to him must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So we want to encourage you this morning to have faith in God. For truly, faith is the transformative power of the universe. It's the power of change. The power to bring us from light to darkness or from darkness to light. The power to bring us from sickness to good health. The power to bring us from a faithless generation to a faithful generation in Jesus' mighty name. to open the eyes of our faith so that we can be a partaker of what God is doing in this place. Ask the Holy Spirit to begin to address your case, to touch your own life. Whatever you see today, whatever miracles you see happening in this place, know that you too can receive of the same spirit, can receive of the same healing and deliverance and breakthrough simply by connecting yourself in faith. Because we know that the opening of the eyes of our faith is the silencing of our fears. And where the love of God is, no fear can prevail. We know that no one is hopeless whose hope is in the Lord. And this people who have come here today, they've come here with the one hope that Jesus Christ will meet them at the point of their need. And we know that Jesus is truly the answer. As you can see right now on your screen, the Holy Spirit is doing a mighty work in this woman delivering her from every single darkness that has once plagued her life, separating her from any evil spirit or torment that she was once experiencing. And as she rises, she will rise into a new life in Jesus' name. Remember that a steadfast look at the crucified one will never look in vain at the great physician. Jesus Christ is our great physician. Jesus Christ is the only one who can meet us at the point of our need. When doctors say there is no solution, Jesus Christ says that I have a solution for you. When the doctors say that your time is up, Jesus Christ says that I have come to give life and life more abundantly. And you can take God at his word. You can take him at his promises today. And this morning what you are witnessing is the promises of God being fulfilled today through his word by his spirit. As the medium of the anointing water is being ministered through the evangelist. God can use any medium to express himself in in people's lives and the way and the manner in which the Holy Spirit chooses to express himself differs from person to person but every single solution is the same it is victory in Jesus mighty name
You can see right now this young girl is not at ease with herself as the Spirit of God is beginning to address her case in Jesus' mighty name. Who are you? Answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Fire of the ghost. What have you done in her life? Answer right now. What have you done in her life? She's yours. When did you enter her body? When she was a small kid. What's your purpose in her body? Destroying us. To destroy. How do you destroy? Embarrassment. Embarrassment. How else? Who are you? What is your name? Answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm a demon. You're a demon. What's your name? Lucifer. You're Lucifer. How many of you there? 25. 25. What else have you done in her life? What else have you done in her life? Stubbornness. Stubbornness. You call stubbornness. What else? Not listening. Not listening. Not listening to your, to your parents? Yes. Just, just, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look at me. Who, who is this person standing next to you? I don't know. Look at her. Who is this person standing next to you? Fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Answer. Who is this person next to you? Is that you? Yeah. No. Who is she? Who is she to you? Who is this person next to you? I don't know. You don't know. Ma'am, who's, who's this child? She's, she's my daughter. She's your daughter? Yeah. But she's saying she doesn't know you. Shani. Go ahead. Shani. Shani. How's her behavior been in the house? She's, she's very stubborn. She's, she's mean. It's like she doesn't... She, okay. okay. Keep, keep going. Uh -huh. she's, she's stubborn very, she's, she's mean she's mean she doesn't listen it's like you can't even correct her she she has issues with school mm -hmm. what kind of issues with school um in school she is like they said she's like she's very mean she's very mean. she won't listen to the teacher they will try to i mean put her away so that probably maybe but she still is like we have we're having constant problem with her yeah. how old is she She's 10. She's 10. And how long has this been happening to her? Um, she, when she was, since she was little, she was a little bit like, um, not, not like stubborn, but she, she was like, she was, I can't, you know, but it's not that she, I've been praying about it. She's so stubborn. She's, she won't listen to you. Mm -hmm. Tell her to do something. She's not going to do it. She mm -hmm. will tell you, I'm going to do it. But next minute you turn your back, it's a different story. Okay. Okay. So just to let you know that, that what was causing that was the spirit inside of her. Mm -hmm. And she will be free and delivered in Jesus' name. You will have your child back. Amen. Okay. Amen. You demon. Fire of the ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command you, leave her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every single one of you. Every single one of you. Out of her body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single one of you, all 25 of you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single one of you, out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost all over her body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire the Holy Ghost all over her body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire all the ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single one of you, out of her body right now. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave this child in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire all the ghost all over her body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her body. Out of every part of her body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave her be right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every single one of you, out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, get up. Okay. 
what you now look at me she's crying as you church as you can see that the evil spirit that's been in her has been expelled so let's put our hands together for Jesus Thank you, Jesus, for all those deliverers. We, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Can, we, can, we, can we talk to you for a second? Can, who is this? First of all, what's, what is your name? Johnny. Johnny. So who is this standing right next to you? Who is, who is she? She's your mom. What about, what about this lady? Your sister. Okay, this is to show us that the evil spirit that was inside of her has been expelled in Jesus' name. And now you can, she can live for the glory of God. Say thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen, amen. Come on, church. Let's put our hands together for Jesus one more time. What you guys just witnessed right now was the delivering power of Jesus Christ as this young girl was set free in Jesus' mighty name. So we thank God for this wonderful deliverance that has just taken place. We know that this will continue. Healing and deliverance continues right now as the anointing water is being ministered in Jesus' mighty name. As you can see, the name Jesus working in the spirit to set people free from every single setback, limitation, demonic spirit that was tormented their lives and bringing about sickness and disease right now those evil spirits are being thwarted out of these the lives of these people back in the line let's get back in the, in the line right now we're gonna do a faith confession hallelujah thank you Jesus Those of you guys who are standing with us right now, I want you to say this out loud after me. Say, I am saved. Jesus is my Savior. Say, I am healed. Jesus is my healer. Say, I am delivered. Jesus is my deliverer. My past is over. I am redeemed. I am justified. I'm no longer condemned. I will go and sin no more. In Jesus' name. We welcome everybody to this prayer with anointing water. Prophet Ibi Joshua has given us the anointing water to pray in the United States for the people so that people will receive salvation, healing and deliverance for their soul. In the name of Jesus. Uh, this is just a plain water but the anointing is done in Jesus name. Therefore when we pray for people we see devils, uh, uh, demons leave, sickness is being expelled and people receive blessing and breakthrough. Just like many mediums in the Bible God has used starting from Genesis to down to Revelation. So in this day of age, by, uh, God decided to use this water to bring healing, deliverance and breakthrough into people's lives. We will look upon the cross. We will look unto, unto the sacrifice that Jesus has made to receive our healing and our breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, open my heart to your word. Say, Lord Jesus, open my heart to your faith. Say, Lord Jesus, open my heart to your spirit. Amen. Now get ready to receive. As the prayer line will begin, those that are watching on live stream or those that are here in the service, uh, get a chance to get connected to receive for your own deliverance, to receive your own breakthrough. That Jesus Christ, there is no barrier between you and your breakthrough. So as they receive and, uh, the anointing water, believe and declare for your own in Jesus' name.
We know that everything that has a beginning must come to an end. So what is your problem today? Know that it must come to an end. We do not have faith in faith, but we have faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the master healer, master deliverer, and the son of our salvation. Remember that all the power in heaven and on earth has been invested to that name, Jesus. The Bible says that if you believe, you can receive. Believing is your connection. So get connected by faith and receive your miracle today in Jesus' mighty name. We believe that Jesus Christ will come into your life and bring an end to your problem and give birth to your solution. Never a sickness Jesus cannot heal. Never a disease Jesus cannot cure. Never a problem Jesus cannot solve. Jesus Christ died for us. He rose for us. He prays for us. And he still reigns in power for us. Your case, your situation does not embarrass God. So whatever you have come here with today, you can be released of that in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for giving me another chance. When you believe, your healing, your deliverance, and salvation are guaranteed. So as you are watching, believe that the light of God is exposing every darkness that is hindering people's lives. So today, your salvation is guaranteed, your healing is guaranteed, and your deliverance is guaranteed. In Jesus' name. see uh, online right now that this lady is not on ease with herself that the light of God is exposing every darkness and breaking anything that is not of God in her life believe that as you're watching that Jesus Christ can do the same with you that there is no barrier between you and your deliverance in Jesus name Jesus Christ is working in the midst as the anointing water is being administered through these evangelists. Believe that the name of Jesus has power over every darkness, over every curse, over every uh, infirmity. So believe the name of Jesus is breaking the d darkness and the power of the enemy. Receive in Jesus' name. darkness can prevail that God has won the victory that we already carry the victory so your time right now as they are receiving the anointing water receive the salvation receive what God has already done on the cross for you in Jesus name
we're going to do the faith declaration so repeat after me say I am saved Jesus is my Savior say I am healed Jesus is my healer say I am free Jesus is my deliverer say suffering and pain are things of the past say I am brand new creation of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus we welcome everybody once again to the prayer with anointing water the day of miracles is not over Jesus never said goodbye Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever the same and in this an age Jesus Christ has chosen his servant prophet TV Joshua and he has instructed him to pray with the anointing to pray for this water and after this water was prayed for and dedicated for the purpose of praying for people just like God has used any other mediums today it's being used to touch people's lives and as you've seen already uh, God delivering people uh, people falling under the power of God without nobody touching them and this is not mere just water it's Holy Spirit that is using this as a point of contact to set people free and so right now focus on receiving focus on receiving from him say this prayer out loud after me say Lord Jesus open my heart to your word Lord Jesus open my heart to your spirit Lord Jesus open my heart to your faith in Jesus name amen receive today in the name of Jesus Christ We are so privileged today to be partakers of God's divine healing, deliverance, and breakthrough. Truly, Jesus never said goodbye. He never said goodbye to our healing. He never said goodbye to our deliverance. But Jesus says, good morning to your new health. Good morning to your new life. So this morning, you can partake of this wonderful healing and deliverance that is happening in this place and receive from Jesus Christ. The book of Acts is not just mere history, but it is the pattern for which we should establish our own lives. Like Paul and Silas, the Spirit of God can deliver you from any chain that is binding you, from anything that is holding you back from taking your rightful place in Jesus Christ. This morning, you too can be set free from every single bondage that is holding you back from receiving the promises of God. All you have to do right now is simply connect yourself in faith. Believing is our connection to Jesus Christ. So get connected right now in faith and receive your miracle this morning in Jesus' name. believe your healing deliverance and blessing are just like breathing when we learn what God has made us for we are bound to be content self-sufficient and happy every person who walks by faith will have testing when God is supporting your position your struggles will be will make you stronger You can see right now that this woman is not at ease with herself as the Spirit of God is addressing her case. You can see the name of Jesus working in the Spirit to remove every single darkness that has once bound her life. Today you can see the light of God coming into the lives of these people, exposing and expelling every single shade of darkness and removing every evil spirit from her life. Why have done in her life? Fire of all the ghosts all over your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what have you done in her life? What have you done in her life? 
Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I command you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of a body in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of a body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single one of you out of a body right now. Leave her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire. Truly there is power in the name of Jesus Christ to break every single chain. All the power in heaven and on earth has been invested into the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. That to God's power, nothing is impossible. And we can take heart today knowing that Jesus Christ has overcome the world. Today we can be of good cheer. We can be happy and we can rejoice because we know that our case is already settled in Jesus' mighty name. That the word of God is the final authority settling all matters. Whatever it may be, whether it is sickness or disease, whether it is setback or limitation, your case is settled in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are today, you can be connected in faith by simply believing and putting your faith in Jesus Christ. Today we are all fighting a common enemy, and that is Satan, who is the architect of many afflictions. We fight a common enemy that is the evil spirits that torment our lives. Our situations are camouflaged differently, but today we know that Jesus Christ can address any situation, no matter what it may look like, no matter what it may seem like. The Holy Spirit is able to meet you at the point of your need. So stay connected in faith in Jesus' mighty name. Satan is our common enemy, the author of many afflictions, but we have a champion today who has won the victory for us. And sir, uh, can you tell us what, what is the problem that you're having? I have, um, I have sleep apnea. Okay, and um, tell us, what, what is your name and what are you from? My name is Jonathan Goodman. I'm from... Um, Minnesota. And Jonathan, for how long did you have this sleep apnea? I have it um, about 10 years now. And how did this sleep apnea affect every day of your life? Well, if I don't use the machine, I feel tired all over myself. And um, if I don't um, sleep, I will sleep during the day. And that's affected my social life and my work. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so without this machine, you cannot sleep at night? No. And if you would sleep without this machine at night, what would happen? Um, if I would sleep without the machine, I will, the doctor said I would die. You, you know, can die? Yeah. And you've had this for 10 years? 10 years uh, without the breathing, yeah. Okay. Could you uh, put the machine on and demonstrate to us how do you sleep at night? Show us how do you sleep at night. Take your time. Take your time. Can you turn on the machine? Can you turn it on? Um, so church, as you see, uh, this is how this man sleeps every single night for the past 10 years. And you, you're his wife, correct? And you can confirm that every single night he sleeps, he sleeps like that. Could you confirm that? Yes. Yes. Now, if you can remove, remove that. See that? And Jonathan, what is your faith today? What do you believe Jesus will do today for you? I believe that Jesus will um, heal me today because he's the finisher, altar and finisher of my faith, you know. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And Jonathan, according to your faith, let it be done to you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Open your mouth.
in the name of Jesus let mercy and favor speak for him right now in Jesus name anything that's not of Jesus that's in his body right now in the name of Jesus we command it to be out in Jesus name Amen. every trace of darkness in his body right now we command it out in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit behind the sleep apnea and asthma and diabetes high blood pressure high cholesterol hepatitis B out in the name of Jesus Christ out in the name of Jesus Christ let there be light in Jesus name in your body let there be light in Jesus name in your breathing let there be light in Jesus name in your soul in Jesus mighty name because of Christ be healed in Jesus name because of Christ be free in Jesus mighty name and because of Christ be delivered in Jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 and Jonathan can you stand to your feet Put the, put the machine down and I want you to right now just could you breathe for us deeply I know because of asthma people have a deep problem breathing I want you to just breathe right now by faith <sighs> just breathe breathe how do you feel I feel good better you feel yeah. better yes a bit lot better I want you to breathe again <sighs> yeah a lot better a lot better yeah and Jonathan I know that because of us a lot of people cannot cannot run too fast I want you could you be able to just kind of run there and back yes. yeah and come back go ahead come on church let's put our hands together one more time for Jesus Christ and Jonathan run back run back how do you feel right now I feel good you feel good yes. come on say thank you Jesus, thank you, Jesus. We want to thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Remember that a steadfast look at the crucified one will never look in vain at the great physician. Truly, Jesus Christ is our healer. He is our deliverer and the son of our salvation. And nothing is impossible for him. That whatever people have declared over your life as impossible, know that the word of God through Jesus Christ declares that there is nothing impossible for him. And your case is settled in his name. So let's continue to watch in faith, remain in an attitude of faith, and put your trust in Jesus Christ, who truly is the answer to all fundamental issues of life. Today, you can partake of this wonderful healing, deliverance, and salvation by simply connecting yourself in faith, knowing that Jesus Christ is able to meet you at the point of your need. I stand back in the row as you're going back into the row right now I want you to let's go let's go as you're going back I want you to begin to say that I am saved come on church begin to say I am saved Jesus is my Savior I am healed Jesus is my healer I am delivered Jesus is my deliverer my past is over I am redeemed I am justified no longer condemned I will go and sin no more in Jesus name come on you can put your hands together for Jesus Christ as you make your way back in the name of Jesus once again we want to welcome each one of you to the prayer with anointing water where prophet TB Joshua has sent anointing water to pray for people that have needs in the United States and so this anointing water is just water but it has anointing that's done in Jesus name so we're going to look on the cross and the suffering of Jesus Christ on the thing on the on what he earned for us on the cross and we're going to trust in his sufferings amen, amen. we're going to we're going to come before him like that man that had a that had a son that would had epilepsy and was demon possessed we're going to ask him Lord Jesus help my unbelief because the faith that Jesus has in store for you will help you to bring about your healing your deliverance and your blessing amen because bible says that without faith it is impossible to please god so you must come before god and be like that father who cried out say lord jesus help me to believe give me your portion of faith that you have for me in store today amen so let's open up and pray say lord jesus open my heart to your word say lord jesus open my heart to your faith say lord jesus open my heart to your spirit now let's be ready to receive what God has in store for you in Jesus name
encourage you right now to remain in an attitude of faith as the final prayer line commences right now. Remember that believing is your connection to Jesus. When you believe, your healing, deliverance, and salvation are guaranteed. If you simply believe, you shall have. When you believe, your healing and deliverance and blessing is just like breathing. When we learn what God has made us for, we are bound to be contented, self-sufficient, and happy. Every person who walks by faith will have testing. But when God is supporting your position, your struggles will make you stronger. Remember that there is no attribute of God that is as recommended as his goodness. So whatever your situation today, as a Christian, God is good. Whatever your life may bring, remember that God is good. And whatever your lot is, God is good. between light and darkness but we know that God has the, the victory already so as you watch believe that Jesus Christ can give you what the sheep they're getting that they're receiving in Jesus name so as you are uh, watching begin to just declare deliverance over your life as you're watching begin to receive your healing your own breakthrough your own blessing in Jesus name stay connected stay in faith in Jesus name thank God because we know that Jesus Christ is a soul winner. That is what he came for, lived for, died for, and rose again for. Jesus Christ came to restore the relationship between Christ and man. And remember in Romans chapter 8 verse 16, it says the spirit of God joins with our spirit to declare that we are the children of God. So today we can stand boldly and confidently in faith, knowing that we are his children. And if we are his children, then he will take care of us. He will support us today. We know that he has given us the spirit of God, whom he calls our advocate, who says that he is on our side. And we know that Jesus Christ is with us today through his word and by his spirit. And the spirit of God is moving among us in the midst of us today as the anointing water is being ministered in Jesus' mighty name. We see the power of God operating in the lives of these people, removing every single shade of darkness that has been tormenting their lives. But we know that today, as they have come to lay down their situation, that Jesus Christ is giving birth to a solution in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. And we know that this solution is a lasting solution. What are you in need today? Are you in need of healing? We have a healer. Are you in need of a deliverance or a breakthrough? Whatever it may be, Jesus Christ can do it for you. Nothing is too small or too big for our God, for our God does the impossible. So today, believe as you are watching and as you're sitting here today, receive for your own breakthrough, receive for your own miracle, that as you leave today, you are leaving with a testimony in Jesus' name.
some of you may be asking what is happening right now, what you are wit witnessing is the real, authentic, and forceful power of God operating in the life of this woman as the evangelist continues to pray for her through the medium of the anointing water. The Spirit of God is addressing her case today, removing every single shade of darkness. And we know that where the light of God is, no darkness can prevail. Sickness has no hiding place. Disease has no hiding place. Infirmity has no hiding place where the light of God is. Jesus Christ as we see right now that this woman's testimony is being restored in Jesus mighty name Jesus Christ is truly our healer he is our deliverer and the son of our salvation and restoration comes through his word by his spirit so we thank God Almighty for the wonderful healing and deliverance that is taking place right here, right now, live and direct at the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the United States. We thank God for the privilege to be able to pray with the Anointing Water so that we too can receive of God's wonderful healing and deliverance that is happening throughout the world through the ministry of Prophet T.B. Joshua. And we know that the Anointing Water has been sent to America today because God is able to move no matter what country, whether Nigeria, whether in the USA, we know that the Holy Spirit is ready to meet every person at the point of their need. All power in heaven and on earth has been invested in that name, Jesus. The Bible says that if you believe, you can receive. Believing in your connection so that, so get connected by faith and receive your miracle today in Jesus' name. We believe that Jesus. We believe that Jesus Christ will come into your life and bring an end to your problem and give birth to the solution. Never a sickness Jesus cannot heal. Never a disease Jesus cannot cure. Never a problem Jesus cannot solve. We declare this morning as a church and as a congregation as one that because of Christ we are healed we are set free we are delivered we are saved and blessed because of Christ we know that Jesus Christ has already paid the price for our healing and deliverance and he's paid a price of great suffering and we can trust in the blood of Jesus Christ to cover every single area of our lives that has been tormenting us that has been bringing setback today we can trust in the blood of jesus christ to bring a solution in jesus name
The Bible says that our God is a consuming fire. That means he is able to consume every single trace of darkness, every single evil spirit, every single thing that does not belong in your life. Our God is a consuming fire and he is able to remove those things from your life and give birth to a solution in Jesus mighty name. she is not at ease with herself every single thing that is the darkness is being removed out of her body any poisonous substance is coming out of her body right now as the name of Jesus is being declared in this place as the anointing water is being ministered so those that are watching begin to receive your own healing your own breakthrough those that are here in the congregation believe that the name of Jesus is yours that the power of Jesus is here and that anything that is not of God is being removed in Jesus name God is here in this place. It is being expo exposing every darkness that may be present in this place. Believe and just declare that the light of God begin to be in your own life, that in your finances, in your issues today, that the light of God will come and deliver it, whatever it may be, in Jesus' name. to God in this place giving okay let's get to back God into in our Jesus prayer line name. we're going to finish with the faith declaration repeat after me say I am saved because Jesus is my savior say I am healed because Jesus is my healer say I am delivered because Jesus is my deliverer say my past is over Say, my pain is over. My suffering is over. Say, my limitation is over. Say, I am justified. I am no longer condemned. Say, I will go and sin no more. In Jesus' name.